All right, hello. Um, so today I'll be explaining the simple pendulum experiment, and this was performed by me, Hussein Mansour, um, for Physics 2 Lab. Um, and here we go. So a, a simple pendulum setup um, apparatus consists of a mass object that is connected to a massless string of a certain length. In this case, mine was around 12.5 centimeters. And simple pendulums are tools that demonstrate simple harmonic motion. And when the pendulum is at rest, the displacement angle is always equal to zero degrees. And as the mass is released from some angle of displacement, the string swings back and forth with gravity working as a restoring force. Now, the period which we will be calculating is the time it takes to complete one full cycle. And therefore, the period of a simple pendulum is the time it takes to swing from one side to the other and back again. So, for example, from position A to B and then from B to A. And the period has units in seconds and is, of course, inversely proportional to the frequency. Now, um, the purpose of uh, our experiment was to calculate the period of a given simple pendulum setup and prove that its period is independent of both the hanging mass, which in this case was my ring, and the angle at which the release is being displaced. Uh, and it was also marked on the protractor for accuracy uh, details. Um, the angle was marked, so we were able to perform several several trial trials with um, a very low uncertainty. And the string that I used was not very stiff or very uh, elastic so that the mass will not bounce up upon release. Um, now we had different variables during the experiment. The independent variable was the length of the pendulum uh, of the string. Uh, the dependent variable was the period since uh, it could change depending on the length. And the controlled variable was uh, the mass uh, of the of the pendulum, or in this case, the ring, which was kept constant, and the point of release, which was marked uh, slightly right below uh, 10 degrees. Now, the physical model, as you can see to the left, we have a force diagram uh, of our setup, uh, which indicates all the forces, the angles, and to the right, we can see the equations which uh, we are going to use in the uh, next couple of slides. Uh, the first one is used to calculate the theoretical value of the period, and we will be using that to compare it with um, the uh, value that I calculated after uh, averaging out 20 uh, oscillation times. And then the second uh, equation that you can see here is used to... Uh, calculate the uncertainty that is associated with uh, one of the periods. And we will be also comparing that to uh, the standard uh, error, which I also derived from uh, averaging the, uh, the 20 trials. <coughs> now, the experimental method. And uh, this is just a short clip on the release of the ring. Sorry if it was kind of cut off because I brought my hand close to it, so here we go. Oop. And there we see how my hand started in this location where the cursor is. The ring went down here to position A, and then from A back to position B where it started. So B, A, B. And then now we have a set of conditions. Uh, or uh, rules that we should keep in mind when performing such an experiment. Uh, the first one is that the string should be released from almost the same position on every drop in order to uh, have the lowest uncertainty possible. Uh, two, the experimenter should be the one who times the motion. And three, the only pivoting should be where the string is tied at the top. And lastly, the release angle should be uh, certainly less than 10 degrees. Oops. This is the data presentation. You can see all 20 trials, squares, the uh, their sum, the average, and then over here, the standard deviation and the standard error. Now our analysis. Um, after uh, an an analyzing the data, uh, our mean came out to be uh, 0 0.739 seconds. 
our standard deviation was 0.151 our standard error was 0.033 and uh, our theoretical uh, period was 0 0.709 uh, which is actually very very close to the uh, actual value and the uncertainty of one of the periods was uh, calculated as 0 0.08 which was uh, slightly different from the standard error, and we will talk about that. Now, the to conclude, um, the actual value of the period was actually very, very close to the theoretical one that we calculated, and the only difference was around 4.05%, uh, which can be taken into account. Uh, this difference can be uh, linked back to uh, maybe the slight movement of my hand when i was releasing the uh, the mass it might have went up or down uh, plus or minus one degrees which uh, of course stayed below 10 degrees all, at all times um, and moving on to the uncertainty uh that was calculated to be 0 0.08 versus the standard error which i also calculated uh from the data which was 0 0.033 this difference uh of course, it depends on the average time it takes for an oscillation to uh, fully complete. Um, the sources of random error uh, can be can go back to uh, the angle that the mass is being dropped from. So, as I said, uh, it might have been plus plus one or minus one uh, degree every time I move my hand, or plus two. Uh, the length of the string. Uh, could also have been extended based on the string elasticity. It was not fully uh, a stiff string or a fully elastic spring. And the time or reaction delay when measuring the time it takes for one oscillation to complete can also change, can also change based on the uh, reaction time of the observer that is uh, stopping the uh, stopwatch. And lastly, the systematic error will always only arise if the mass rotates on its own uh, axis. Now here's a video of uh, me just basically going over my setup. All right, so this is my simple pendulum uh, setup. Here we have the uh, the mass. In this case, is a ring uh, connected to a string of a certain length, and then to uh, measure the release angle, I have attached a protractor to the table. Yeah, you can probably watch that later and ignore the smoothie in the background. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. And uh, here's my work cited for the image I used in the third or fourth slide, I think. Uh, and thank you so much for watching. Uh, have a great day and stay safe.